This video presentation will provide a high-level overview of Master Data Management, MDM, data governance, why it is important, and how to manage it. The recent emphasis on regulatory compliance, service-oriented architecture, mergers and acquisitions has made the creating and maintaining of accurate and complete master data information a business imperative. Master Data Management, MDM, is the process of creating and managing data that an organization must have as a single source of truth. The pain that organizations are experiencing around consistent reporting, regulatory compliance, strong interest in service-oriented architecture, and software as a service has prompted a great deal of interest in master data management. MDM provides consistent reporting, improved quality of care, improved decision-making, and cost efficiencies. Why is it important to have a single source of truth, a gold record? Why should I manage my master data? Because an error in master data will cascade into all downstream applications using this master data. A personal example. I paid my cell phone bill on time with a major U.S. cellular carrier, but my records were not reconciled and kept a single version of truth with the downstream systems. I only found out this when my service was disconnected. Upon calling customer service, they researched and corrected the issue. This, however, led to four to five hours of my service disruption just because my account information was not in sync between the point of sales and the master data downstream systems. MDM is the new fuel for today's business. Data is the currency of today's digital market, and like any currency, you need to trust the currency and know the currency is reliable and stable. Therefore, the need to maintain a high-quality, consistent set of master data for your organization is rapidly becoming a necessity. The systems, technology, and processes required to maintain this data are known as master data management. We would like to emphasize that MDM is not just a technological problem. There are essentially five types of data in a corporation. Unstructured. This is data found in emails, magazine articles, marketing collaterals, and PDFs. Transactional. This is data related to sales, deliveries, invoices, trouble tickets, etc. Metadata. This is data about other data and may reside in a formal repository or in various other forms such as XML documents. Hierarchical. Hierarchical data stores the relationships between other data. It may be stored as part of an accounting system or separately as a description of real-world relationships such as company organizational structure. Hierarchical data is sometimes considered the super MDM domain because it's critical to understanding the relationships between master data. Master, master data are critical nouns of the business and fall generally into four groupings, people, things, places, and concepts. In many cases, we need to streamline business processes to maintain clean master data and integrate it with the source application. It must be noted that simply creation of master data is not good enough. It must reach the right people at the right time while it's still fresh enough to be useful. We at Angie recommend following as part of MDM deployment and integration central storage of master data in order to allow enterprise-wide access to the data through a single and central point. 
synchronization and distribution of the data updates, including additions across all systems, storing or referencing the master data. Workflows to help standardize and manage the process of data updates, additions, and monitor the status. Example, who is the next person to do something with that data? Ensure the audit trails and traceability. Audit in the history to enable tracking and recording of changes made to the data over a period of time. Allowing assignments of data stewards responsible for managing each master data domain. Creating and managing hierarchies of master data in order to support and represent the organization's business structure. Hierarchy management can turn into quite a tricky exercise, so we do ensure that the hierarchy management features meets present as well as foreseeable future requirements. Integration with all the existing system which needs to source master data. By implementing a suitable master data solution, organizations can become more operationally efficient by means of automation and communicating through a single channel. As quality data is a strategic asset for any organization, starting out with a thorough understanding of data quality from each contributing source allows for the highest quality data in a MDM implementation. One of the data quality issues is data duplication. To identify and remove these duplicates, deterministic and problematic approaches are used. Deterministic matching protocol. It all starts with the data source. Deterministic matching mainly looks an exact match between two pieces of data. It therefore requires the quality of the data to be at a 100% level, and your data is cleansed and standardized in the same way 100% of the time. As data is never 100% clean, this requires some level of upfront work for deterministic matching to work. The data source travels to a profiling tool and integrates using the ETL process, where it's cleansed, standardized, and transformed. The data then travels to an MDM hub for matching, security, multi-domain, SOA, workflow, collaborations, and stewardship. Probabilistic matching uses a statistical approach in measuring the probability that two customer records represent the same individual. It is fundamental to properly analyze the data elements as well as the combination of such data elements that are needed for searching and matching. This information goes into the process for designing an algorithm where the searching and matching rules are defined. Probabilistic matching takes into account the frequency of the occurrence of a particular data value, all the values in that data element for the entire population. Search buckets are derived based on the combinations of data elements in the algorithm. Thresholds are set to determine when two records should automatically be linked since the records are the same, manually reviewed as the two records may be the same, or not linked because the two records are not the same. It is designed to work using a wider set of data elements to be used for matching. It uses weights to calculate the match score, and it uses thresholds to determine a match, non-match, or a possible match. MDM core architecture has a three-layer approach. The first layer is the MDM core. This is buffered by the second layer of policy management, 
application management, service management, and security management. The third layer includes the ability to provision, secure, support, monitor, and deactivate. These layers are influenced by requirements, priorities, resource availability, time frame, and the size of the problem. Most MDM projects includes analysis of what we call master data. Which are the sources of this data? And among these sources, which are going to be the source of records? As there could be multiple sources with multiple subsets of data. And how this is going to be kept in sync with those sources is a fundamental question of any MDM deployment. In MDM, there's mastering data, stewardship, realization of entities in applications, subject areas and objects, modeling and visualization, business intelligence, and metadata. Metadata is one of the most important areas for mastering the data. In order to develop the metadata for the master data, some organizations maintain the metadata model of their systems that eases this step. In absence of this, we need to build a repository of all the attributes. A data governance body has full business knowledge about the data and authority to make decisions during deployment and maintenance is an absolute necessity. This body has access to the data steward knowledgeable of the source data and have the ability to determine how to transform the source into master data format. The most important step of an MDM employment is to develop a master data model. This step ensures reconciling between source data model and master data model. The master data model is a subset in cases of multiple data sources mapping to a single master data model and would require buy-in from data governance bodies and several business owners to make the final decision based on priorities. While MDM is most effective when applied to all the master data in an organization, in many cases the risk and expense of an enterprise-wide effort are difficult to justify. Like most things in software, the key to success is to implement MDM incrementally. We start with a few key sources of master data and expand the effort. Once success has been demonstrated and lessons have been learned, we can expand our analysis of all the master data and we might eventually want to include. This ensures we don't make design decisions or tool choices that will force you to start over when you try to incorporate a new data source. When starting any MDM project, we must take precautions to ensure effective data governance is in place. As once an MDM solution is in place, it provides ongoing data quality assurance. It is important to remember the following in respects to data governance. How data is transformed between the source of record and the master. How data is transformed between the master and each copy. How to arbitrate when different sources have different values of the data. How to synchronize data across all copies when the master changes. Which systems are permitted to change the data. It is also important to choose your technology carefully to use people that have a track record in MDM delivery, that take an approach that considers all data domains, takes a gradual stepwise approach to implementation and delivering incremental business value. 
Angie Technologies can help identify some of the key MDM management patterns, data governance, and best practices that are emerging. We provide solutions to data problems, leveraging the latest technologies and trends. Contact us to discuss your needs with our business development team.